Hey everybody, welcome back to Coach G World on YouTube with another training video. This time we're in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to be looking at making some abstract patterns, abstract background, whatever you would want to use this for, what you see on screen here. Um, won't take long to create and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a few simple steps. So we're going to go over to our untitled artboard right now. First thing we want to do is use our rectangle tool keyboard shortcut is M we will go to the fill layer let's just make it some sort of deep dark purple um, we'll turn the stroke off by making sure it's active and selecting none again fill is activated so let's make our background just quickly drag out to the stage there and what we want to do next is go to our pencil tool where the shortcut is in and with that selected we kind of want to switch things up. So I want the fill uh, to have none and I want my stroke to have, we'll go with black. And I'm just using this um, color picker over here and selecting black down there. And it's active. We want to make sure if your pencil tool options uh, by double clicking on that, do not have smooth all the way um, as your option. Make sure it's make sure this little ball is over the, here um you'll see why in a minute let's make sure these options are the same and should be fine after that um so here we go this pattern is something i'm roughly drawing out that's kind of huge but there you go you can see it kind of mimics this um but there we go, that's our first one. I can move that with my selection tool. So we'll get our pencil tool active again. I do wanna create another, I wanna create a gradient. So with my pencil tool active, the stroke selected, let's apply a gradient to that stroke. As you can see, we have gradient options down here. This one is specifically going from white to black. So um, we can add more colors in between by clicking little, um, Clicking here and little dots will form um, as you can see there. If you want to remove one, you can drag them off or if it's active, you can just put delete stop. So these are little stop points right here. Um, can't You can create as many as you want. Um, that makes sense as you know, but that's way too much. So I probably shouldn't have done all that. Now there's going to be endless deleting and what we want to do like I can go to purple and orange and I have a preset gradient already here So it's got three um, of those stops. So I'm just gonna add two more and We'll just try to get some random color in there. That might make sense uh, So Let's there we go So this is our gradient with the pencil tool selected Let's go ahead and create another one of these pencil drawings. And there we go, let's see. Yep, everything looks smooth. And you can see the gradient. The gradient is applied on that specific drawing or on that pencil line path. And so with both selected and the background not selected, what I want you to do next is go to object. You're gonna to go to blend and you will go to make. And you can see another line formed there, All right? So it looks like we have three now. And with everything selected, you're gonna go over here to the blend tool. Double clicking on the blend tool, we'll get what we want. And that is our blend options. Let's go to preview, turn that on. Instead of smooth color, we want specified steps. And as you can see here, selected is one. Let's increase that by clicking our arrow up and you can see the pattern taking shape. And it's kind of a interesting abstract pattern. Um, you know, this is what we started with initially um, looking at. This is what we created based on the pencil drawing that you come up with and the path that you make you know it's going to basically be what you end up with 
And this is what we have here. Um, not a long process at all. I mean, this looks like something you might see on like a Windows 95 wallpaper or something, or like a screensaver, I mean. And, um, you know, it looks pretty cool. You could have a lot of different uses for this. As creative as you want to get is what you can do. Um, so there it is. It's uh, abstract background just using a few simple steps. So I hope you like this quick tutorial. As always, turn the notifications bell on if you wanna get instant <laughs> updates on whenever I post. Hopefully it's more consistent. And make sure you like, subscribe, comment, give me some feedback. And that's it for this tutorial here in Illustrator. Take it easy, peace.